8 a.m. on a, a dreary Wednesday morning. See a little bit of rain there on the uh, on the camera lens, but hopefully we'll get a break in the showers before it all picks up later today. We'll check sure. in with Kelly here in a little bit. Thanks for joining us on this May 13th Wednesday morning. I'm Emily Burris and I'm Jenny Hansen. OK, we've been talking about trips to the grocery store a lot lately. They can be stressful because everything's different right yeah. now, and it turns out they could be getting more expensive. You know, certain types of food aren't just harder to find at the grocery store. They are actually costing more, too, and the increases are unprecedented. The Labor Department says prices of staples like eggs, meats, and cereals recorded their highest increases in 46 years. Eggs saw the biggest hike, up 16 percent. All six of the major grocery store food categories are up at least one and a half percent. Grocery stores seem to be alone in these price increases. Most industries saw declines in April. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've noticed the, the price increases as much as I've just noticed things not being in stock. You right. Know? Like some empty meat, shelves. especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I for, it's not food, but for the first time the other day, I was in an aisle and there was hand sanitizer. And wow. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It, and, and I bought some. I didn't even know if we needed it, but I thought, well, might, you know. might as well. Don't know when it's going to be back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as you just get like one or two. Right? Oh, I only got one. You didn't, I didn't want to be didn't that sweep person. the shelf. No, but okay. I was like, I was talking with uh, someone about this earlier that I wonder if we're going to become like this, like, you know, our generations are yeah. going to become hoarders of certain items Quasi after this experience. Of, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see it. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've, I've noticed I yeah, I don't even pay attention to the price. I just feel like I go in and I'm like, get yeah. what I need and get out. And I notice that shelves are empty in some spots. Yeah. I've noticed some of the frozen uh, sections kind of bought out too. Totally. And mm -hmm. I've been wondering about this. It seems like more and more people are going for the freezer meals. Mm -hmm. Well, as you grocery shop, if you're finding yourself turn down the frozen food aisle a little more than usual, you are not alone. Forbes reports frozen meals are the new comfort food during this pandemic. With many Americans quarantine diets, now a lot of microwaved trays. A new study from the American Frozen Food Institute says 90% of Americans report eating more meals at home now, and 70% of people say they're buying more frozen food. People say they're going for the frozen stuff because uh, it's got a longer shelf life. It's an easier way to stock up and minimize those trips to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's really easy to prepare and the cleanup is simple. You just throw the tray in the trash. Uh, comfort food favorites like pizza, lasagna and chicken pot pie have all been very popular purchases. Uh, but be careful because just because it's a frozen favorite does not mean that it's healthy. It's not a home cooked meal. Uh, the Daily reports that some frozen comfort food staples, especially some of those meals from Banquet and Hungry Man, some of those meals can pack in close to a thousand calories Ow. and close to your day's worth of fat and sodium. Yeah, sodium's crazy. Yeah. In those. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a lot. So if you're trying to lighten it up, experts say you, you want to flip it over and read those labels carefully. Check that stuff mm -hmm. out. Uh, don't just assume because it's like meatloaf and mashed potatoes that it's healthy. Uh, check the portion sizes too. Sometimes it's more than one serving mm -hmm. in a package. Mm -hmm. I always get really bummed out when I finish a pot pie and it's like three servings. <laughs> Whoops. Well, guess yeah. I won't eat dinner. And yeah. opt for some of those healthier options. Uh, a Northwest brand Amy's is always, oh, yeah. it's like one of the most popular healthy mm -hmm. swaps on every single one of those like eat this, not that. Right. I saw Trader Swap Joe's was on there too. Yeah. It was one of the healthier Trader Joe's, Amy's, options. they make some healthy favorites. I don't think I've ever bought a Hungry Man things. They just look a little I haven't. I haven't. Sketch. I didn't yeah. personally identify with the brand, so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Are you I, not a hungry man? I'm not a hungry man. <laughs> I no, I go for uh, I go for Amy's foods yeah, a lot. They're really yeah. good. She seems nice, that yeah. Amy. Yeah. I've had I've had more than one at a time though. Sometimes one little mm -hmm. pasta isn't enough. I like the the ling. I know the ling cuisines are they're not too bad. Uh, yeah. Carly, are you a frozen food connoisseur? I am not. Oh. I don't buy any frozen meals. Oh, oh yeah. man. Well, okay. Actually, my thing is um, Fit Foods, which is at Progress Ridge. There's oh, several yeah, that's locations. Really good. So awesome. I buy all pre-made meals because I hate cooking. I know yeah. You don't don't like cooking either, Jenny, right? No, I, yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Yeah. So I just buy that every week and uh, don't do any cooking. And it's fresh made food that uh, has an expiration date and it's made for me. So I just microwave there it. There you and go. Enjoy yeah. Dinner. You just keep it in the fridge? <laughs> keep it in my fridge. Nice. But I have to go every Sunday to buy for the coming week. You know? That's a good idea. They do mm -hmm. have some good, like I've had their salmon before and it's really good. Yes. Yeah. yeah they've got great dishes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so, good tip, Carly. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Tip. Yeah. <laughs>